Hey everyone, so here's my long awaited nail care routine. Ooh. So, first, I use some non acetone nail polish remover and take off my nail polish. And if you're wondering what's wrong with my middle finger on my right hand, I got this garden salad and I'm like, how big is a garden salad? And the lady was like, an average salad. I'm like, what you mean? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look. Look. I just broke my whole. Oh my god. Look, I broke my whole nail. My whole nail. My whole nail. Look at this. It's not even funny. Like, it's, oh my, it hurts too. It hurts. It, look, look. Like, look. Like, it's, it's broken. Like, it's broken. No. Like, I'm not kidding. My nail is burning. Like, my finger, my nail bed it's like burning because it's it's broken like under oh and that's when i used a tea bag and super glue to try to fix it and eventually it did like i just ended up just having to cut it off it literally broke so far down i couldn't do anything about it but anyway i use coconut oil to moisturize my hands after i take the nail polish off and i always wash my hands after i take the nail polish off because you don't want to leave that nail polish remover on your nails because that's bad for your nails so <laughs> my main nail inspiration is isabella demarco because she has such long nails i'm like i want my nails to be like that I just rub in the coconut oil and I rub in lotion too to extra moisturize. And then here's me just massaging that into my cuticles so I can promote growth and whatnot. And then I use the end of like something. I don't know what this is. It's like a file. And I use that to push my cuticles back because I think that's good for your nails or something. I don't even know. I just do it. <laughs> and it makes your nails look longer too. So, you know, just do whatever. Just make sure you're not doing it enough to where it's like hurting. And then I file my nails and I only file I don't cut them and you file in one direction because if you file like if you saw them it makes them weak and brittle and you don't want that you want strong nails so just file in one direction and I really want to get a glass nail file so I need to get one of those so now I use the Sally Hansen Miracle Cure as a base coat because Isabella DeMarco requested it so I was like let me do this but now I use the Butter London um, base coat that my mom got from TJ Maxx and that works really well too and then I just put that over that this was filmed a long time ago and I'm voicing this over a lot later so it's okay I've been busy okay <laughs> Now I'm using the sinful colors in vacation time and this is what I'm doing my nails. So I just do one coat and then I do another coat. So I have a total of two coats on my nails typically. And here's me trying to do my right hand. As you can tell, I am not left-handed, so it, it's a struggle, but oh well. And here's 
my second coat yes oh yes and then make sure you put nail polish on the end of your nail because or like if you cap the top of it or whatever so then it helps keep it longer and it won't chip as quickly always do that i do that with my top coat too One, two, three, yeah. Here's my top coat. I also use the Butter London top coat, but like I said, this was long ago, whatever. But I use this Sally Hansen strengthening top coat on top of that. I am all about just layering up my nails. I'm like, I need as much protection on them as I can get because I don't want them to break. So that's what they look like. Those are my real nails. Yes, that's what they look like. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Have a great day or night, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!